one of the reactions I have when we talk about this very topic is these people who've been in business for 20, 30, 40 years, so it's been working for them, good enough. So yeah, what's the incentive for them to do things differently? It's one of those things where here in West Michigan, which is a big manufacturing place, the announcement came out last week where a manufacturer who's been around for 30 or 40 years is shutting their doors. NPR of America, they're a Pistons ring manufacturing company. And I remember calling on them 10 years ago, back when I was at automation distributor, looking at automating and putting in robots to modernize some of the processes that were out there. The leadership at the time was not willing to invest in robots for machine tending because of the cost. Eight years later, they're shutting down that building. They weren't willing to invest in the infrastructure yeah. to put in vision systems for quality inspections to look at the quality of these piston rings that they were manufacturing. Some companies might grow in business. At the same time though, we look at this industry as a moving train. And as AI and automation and new technology continues to make this industry more digital, more technical, companies who don't get on the train early enough, when that train's been moving faster and it's left the station, are not gonna be able to catch up. There's gonna be too much momentum, that train's gonna be going too fast, and there's more risk for your company, right? There's a lot more risk for you to hop on that train when it's going 15, 20 miles an hour versus if it was sitting in the station when you could have gotten on earlier, you might've had to wait for a little bit for that train to leave, for that technology to be ready, but at least you were there. So when that train started moving, you're on.